Hi, my name is Josie and this is Porto Princesa. Hi. So welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Josie, welcome to my channel. Today we're here in Porto Princesa in Palawan and normally if you were to come here, you're gonna go do snorkel in Honda Bay, you're gonna go see the fireflies, you're gonna go to the underground river, but we don't have that long <laughs> this time. We're only here for a couple of hours. So we're gonna show you what you can do here in Porto Princesa with just a few hours to make it worth your while. Let's go have a look. So the first stop is you know it has to be coffee. So we're here at the Fat Goat. We're gonna have a coffee to start the day. We're gonna head on to some breakfast after that. It's okay. That's all right. All right, thank you. <laughs> Maybe after two to three hours. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. That's when we're leaving. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Okay, so we actually heard that happens a lot. <laughs> um, if you heard that, I don't think I got it in time. She just told us we were ordering coffee. And the second she started to make the coffee, she said the power went out. And apparently you were telling me that that's actually quite common here. It happened this morning in our hotel, but our hotel has a- Like a backup? A generator. So it was, it was fine within like 10 minutes. It came back on. Yeah. Um, so we thought, I thought that she could just start the coffee in like a minute or so. Um, but she said no, two to three hours. So I'm not sure what we could even do today with that. Cause most of the things we want to do have that. So let's have a look. So why we couldn't get our coffee from the fat goat. We're just now on our way walking to the next destination, hoping to find some coffee along the way. But I have noticed that there are so many tricycles or trike bikes or something around here because there's no like grabs or public transport so they're everywhere um, I'm sure that they would cost a little bit more but we're just kind of trying to keep today to walking I think we're gonna try for some breakfast it's breakfast time well it's actually lunch time but it's breakfast time for us so my first impression so far of Porto Princesa is that it is really hot <laughs> it's hot everywhere don't get me wrong but it's super hot today. I've also noticed there's more like local stores, local houses, local roads like this. This is really, really cool. I really like it. Oh, basketball hoop. We're, yeah, I feel like we're in someone's like community. We've got clothes hanging up to dry. We've got a basketball hoop. We've got dogs. <gasps> Look at this dog. <laughs> coolest thing puppies are so cute I love them what a good start to the walk hey <laughs> okay so we found a second coffee shop hopefully this one has the power on <laughs> Here at the coffee shop, essential first stop of the day, I think for every day, whether it's on camera for me or not. I've been waiting a lot for this. It's really hot outside. It's really cool inside and I've got an iced latte. What more could you want? The power just went out here too. <laughs> We're bringing the power outages with us every time we, where we walk through the city. Okay, so that was the coffee place just down there and the restaurant that we're gonna go to is literally just across the road, which is how we found that coffee roaster. This is really pretty. There's like greenery everywhere. It's not so built up as other places like Manila and everything like that, obviously. And I like it. It's got such a charm about it. I think I like those places just as much, if not more, because it's so unique. So we've actually gone to a couple of places and I think we might be a little bit late for Silog. But if this place doesn't have Silog, it definitely has Sisig. So we're gonna try one or the other today. This one is Tia Isling's Filipino restaurant. Let's try here. Okay, so she brought out the drinks. We both got a can. I've got a can of juice. I've got a can of Coke Zero. That were 55 Filipino pesos each. And then she brought out the pork Sisig and it's just sizzling away. It's just sizzling. It's so cool. I'd and this one was 255 Filipino pesos. And then we also got a cup of rice, just one cup, which I believe was 25 pesos as well. So all together it was this. I'm putting it on my plate right now. I'm putting a bit of the pork sisig on my plate and I'm grabbing some of the rice. I'm gonna try them both at the same time. I'm looking at it now and 
I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. It's basically like a big mince. It looks like a big mince, but I'm seeing different like colors. I'm seeing different kinds of the pork. Like obviously there's a little bit more fat in here than the other parts. Yeah, I'm interested to see what it tastes like. Isn't this just the cutest cup? It's like oh, a little bus. <laughs> oh, it's a genie, you're yeah. right. Yeah. And it says Philippines. Yeah. I love that. All right, here we go. We've got the pork sisig with some rice on my spoon, fork, on my fork. It smells good, it smells like garlic. Oh, it's very mushy. It's it's not crispy at all. When you bite into it, it basically all blends into one bit of meat, one soft bit of meat, which then blends into the rice as well. Not chewy, pretty much dissolved in my mouth. I actually didn't expect that at all. I expected that to be crispy and like crunchy and like having to chew through it. That isn't what I expected, like at, at all. Is it nice? It's got a lot of flavor in it. The texture isn't something that I would love. Um, I prefer like the crunchy crackling thing, but the flavors of it are nice. I like the flavor. You love pork though, so let's see what yeah, you think. Yeah, like some sort of maybe an intestine of some sort. I don't know. Maybe you can let us know in the comments. It kind of feels like a like a porridge of, of pork, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like porridge consistency. But you can definitely taste like just the mixture of all the different cuts in there together. I really like that. Michael's about to tell me what's in this because I didn't want to know until afterwards. <laughs> it's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Like. It's not bad, I just think the texture of the soft meat just isn't really for me. Um, but Michael loves pork and he said that he really likes it. But the flavours of it are really nice. The garlic um, and everything like that. I just think like the way that it feels in my mouth isn't the best. And I'm a big texture person so that makes it up for me a lot. There's onions and chilli peppers in there which gives it the taste. It's got chicken liver in there which means you've eaten chicken liver now. Oh, it, it, it. Yeah. So there's minced pork in there which you would have normally, we've eaten a yes, million times yes. before. And then there's cuts from the pig's ear um, and from the pig's face. Different like cuts. The face is quite fatty, so there's a, there's a fatty bit in the pig's face. Really? Yeah. So I'm glad that I know that I've tried something I wouldn't normally have tried before, that's for sure. I've been loving other Filipino foods that we've had so far. I've loved the fresh lumpia, I've loved the banana queue, I've loved the pork adobo we had as well, and I loved the beef curry curry as well. I'm gonna leave the video where I eat all of those things in the description bar below. So if you wanna see me try them, check out those videos after this one. But Michael seems to like it, he's finishing it off really quickly. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the sisig. Now, right now we're on the way to Plaza Quatel and that has a pretty historic meaning here in Porta Princesa that also has some ties to World War II. I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get there. I've just learned as much as I could about it. I'm new to all of this stuff and all of the background to do with these countries, but that's what I do with you. I explore it as I go and learn new things along the way. You teach me more than I am so appreciative for in the comments below as well. So let's get to this place. And there's a really nice Porta Princesa sign right in front of us, in front of the water. So the Japanese had the prisoners here. There were roughly 150 Americans and a few Filipinos as well. And once they sort of got wind that they were going to lose the war, um, they kept everyone underground in the underground tunnels right here. And they basically just set the underground tunnels on fire and burnt everyone, um, which is so completely sad. Mm. Apparently about 11 of them escaped and they don't know how or where or anything like that, but we think that they just maybe escaped the tunnel somehow and got out of the fire. Um, but you can see the underground tunnels here. So that's pretty insane to think about. I think there's a plaque over there that has the names as well of the people who were captive. But so we've just come out of there and across the road, we see some people playing basketball. This is so cool. I should play. No, I'm not that good. If you have a team, tell me in the comments below because apparently basketball is massive here. So let me know what your team is. Michael likes 76ers. Oh, you got him on your hat. <laughs> Hi. So we just walked all the way through this really local um, village to Bayside. We just arrived in Bayside. There's tribes. Baywalk. Bay Bay Walk. Walk, sorry, Bay Walk. And we're just right on the river, on the ocean, on the water right now. And there's bikes everywhere. I'm assuming you could like hire them if you'd like to drive around, drive around, ride around on them. There seems to be like restaurants here as well. It's really hot today. Oh, he's so cute. Hi. <laughs> He's driven past me like five times, so he'll say hi one day. He's been like working up the courage, he like rides past Josie first time he didn't smile. So he finally like looked <laughs> at her a little then bit. Then he looked at me and then the next one he smiled. <laughs> then he keeps just doing Always laps, coming back and around. back around looking at her, so I think he might say hello soon. <laughs> 
He waved at me that time. He waved. He waved. Did you get on the camera? No, no. Oh, he, he did. He waved. <laughs> Stay healthy. Jog. Exercise. Be happy. Smile. Relax. Enjoy life. I like it. So we're just walking down this really busy street here. Um, I'm not sure which street it is, but we kind of came out from the bay and we ended up sort of here. And there's a lot going on. There's tricycles. There's shopping centres. There's hotels. There's like market roads down there. If you can see. So I've noticed looking at these, all these tricycles, that they all have different names printed on the back of them. Some's like Pauline, someone's like Juan, some of them are other things. So if you know why they have different names, let me know. Is it like a license plate number, but their name? I'm not sure, I find it really interesting. Um, there's only, I think, one big mall. Correct me if I'm wrong, the SM Mall. And we're heading there now just to have a look. And then we might find some fresh street food if we can as well. I'm pretty full from the Sissic still, so we'll see. But... <laughs> a lot going on on this street that's for sure there's pants over here there's cars over here there's more shorts over here <laughs> there's a lot to get here there's chemists drug stores a Jollibee obviously there's always a Jollibee no matter where you go here <laughs> so I was thinking I was like wow this town has this big SM mall right but it's the biggest like city town in Palawan, so it makes sense. So we're just gonna have a look around, show you a little bit of the mall. Get a drink. Hopefully find a drink, yes, I would love a drink. And then hopefully find some street food or something on the outside that we can have a chew on for a little snack. And then afterwards tonight, we're actually doing something really special. So stick around and find out what that is. Or not, you'll have to see. <laughs> so the mall, we just came out of the mall and the mall's back there. And where we stayed is literally across the road. It's right there. I'm still honestly quite full from the Sisig a little bit earlier, but there's all of these like street food carts on the side as well, literally outside of our hotel over there. So, oh, what's that? That's banana with the uh, banana. banana. Yes. Sugar. What's that? With sugar. That's maruya. What? What's in that? Uh, flour and banana. Ba banana? Yeah. yeah, I'll try that. How much is it? 10 pesos. 10? Yeah. Oh, there's a tenner in, in my front here. Two? Awesome. Uh, just one, just one just I think. We'll okay. share one, yeah. Thank you. That's it, tenner. 10. Thank you so much. That's so, it. flour and banana. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar. Thank you. Sugar. With sugar. Perfect. Thank you so much. It's so cool. It's like a flat pancake, kind of. <laughs> it looks like a potato scallop. Yeah, like a potato scallop. You're right. All right, so since he just bought some of this, I already forgot the name. <laughs> she told me just then. We're going to get a drink to go with it. So, up in here or yeah, over yeah. there? This one, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doggies. <laughs> uh, just one coat. Yeah. Thank you. I did a parasailing. Nice. <laughs> That's my channel. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have a flower banana. Oops, almost got run over. And a cold Coke. And now we're gonna head back to our hotel. Oh, cross the road when you can. Cross the road when you can. <laughs> and we're gonna try it, see what it's like. It's quite warm in my hand, actually. So we'll go sit and try it out in a second. And the man there, and he was like, do you have your channel? And I was like, yeah. And then I showed him my channel and he was like, I'll subscribe. So cool. Thank you so much if you're watching. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so this is the like banana, flour, sugar, sort of pancake mixture that we bought from her across the road. Smells really nice, all right. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yum. It's super fresh too. Oh, it's yum. It's like hot. It's so hot, it's so warm, it's so fresh. It's so sweet, it's so crispy, it's so banana-y. That is delicious. Okay, so we are now heading in this car, in this bus, in this van for the next six hours. I think you know where we're going, but leave it in the comments below. Leave your guesses. Let me know where you think we're heading to. It's a bit of a long drive. It's going to be worth it when we get there. How exciting. Oh, let's pop in now. Hello, my name is Abed, your driver. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we are in this van. We are on the way to our next destination in Palawan. I think you know where we're going, but we've got a couple of hours drive to our first pit stop. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about it then. But before we go on to 
to stop in a few hours because we'll be in this van for a while. I have a small goal, well, it's actually quite a big goal <laughs> of hitting 50,000 subscribers here in the Philippines. So if you could take a second to press the subscribe button and help me hit my goal of 50,000 of you or subscribe to my channel, that'd be really awesome and like the video as well before we leave. Let's sit in the car for a couple of hours and I'll see you at the pit stop. 20 minutes into our seven, seven hour trip. I'm looking forward to the stop halfway. I love like little towns and road houses and stuff like that. I don't know why it's like road trips. So I hope we stop somewhere cool while it's still light. Oh, pretty. Ah, so we just got to this really cool place. It's in the middle of these little tiny villages. There's dogs everywhere here. We did get a pineapple juice and it's been a really cool trip so far, quite easy. But make sure you leave your guesses where we're going next in Palawan in the comments below. Guess where we're going. I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious. My next video is going to be wherever we're headed next. So make sure you do like and subscribe to see the adventures coming up here in Palawan. But if you like this video, I know you're going to like the one on the screen, if not the second one. So click one of the two on there and watch it after this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Wait, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. That's it. <laughs> Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Let's go to wherever we're going. I can't tell you it's a secret. Let's get back in the car. Yeah.